I wanted to share with you some of the artwork that I did when I was getting my degree in sociology and I was hitting some crossroads after having to be in some of the classes with some of the teachers. They were so militant and uh, cultic-like. It was just wild. One classical sociology teacher was teaching us about uh, a particular theory on suicide and he was getting all the kids because they were kids and I was an adult. I mean, I was and after 50 years old going back to school and as I'm listening to him, he's twisting scripture and twisting things in the Bible and trying to downplay mainstream Christianity by saying, oh, God is bad. And, you know, he says, I want you to come into my classroom and act like it's a temple. And I thought, and you're the cult leader. <laughs> But he was just so odd. I couldn't deal with the dude anymore. I was like, he's trying to get all the kids to read about. I want you to really understand about this particular author theory about suicide. And I really want you to get deep inside of there and read the whole book. And I was like, um, no, that's not good. It was about the fourth week of class when, you know, the fourth, the fourth week, it starts to pile up on you, all the classes that you take. If you're taking 18 units like I was, it all starts to pile up on you and you get overwhelmed. They give you like 50 to 100 pages to read a night and the subject matter is just horrible. So I didn't even read it. I didn't even read it. And I could see that the other kids were really crying. I mean, these are 20, 30-year-old people. They were crying about like just getting psychologically messed up, just reading about suicide and stuff like that. And then he never even gave us a test about it. I thought, oh, cool. That's great. But he was just very uh, demonic, this particular professor. Very demonic, evil, wicked. And just the twisting of concepts just it's irritating and he was like i believe that i can give you an f or an a at my will just because he was thinking that he's god you know and i finally went to the director the chair and said really i'm tired of this teaching of free masonic stuff that you guys are doing or whatever he said, we're not teaching that I go, well, I'm in some of the classes and the way that they treat the kids is they treat them like they're slaves. Number one, <clears throat> they don't respect the kids at all. They just, their authoritarian way is just so bad. He says, well, I can get you out of this program. I go, I just want to make it my minor and I'll switch over to art. So I decided to switch over to art. And I think I was only one or two classes away from the sociology um, bachelor's degree. I already have a, an AA in sociology and I have other degrees, so psychology, humanities and art, and even a bachelor's in studio art. But I kind of crack up a little bit because I've always wanted to paint and do clay work and pottery. So I went ahead and switched over my major to art, studio art. <clears throat> and that's where I also got to do some photography and film and animation. And I noticed that some of my artwork looked very cartoonish, like, so I kind of went with the animation and that was fun. And I love color. I want to show you what I painted. This is on like six by four six feet by four. Do you see this here? And if you look down here, it says the mystery beast of politics, 
entertainment, education, and religion in collusion with each other over the conquest of your ideology in your brain. So you're looking at this picture here, and to you, it might look like space, the final frontier. And we landed on the moon. But this, this is the space in your head. These little tiny rainbowish looking things are neurotransmitters in your brain. This is all the space inside your head. And, you know, we fill it up with cartoons, Sesame Street type of stuff, and movies over here. We've got The Shining. He's wearing his Apollo, Apollo 11 shirt. Let's see if we can get it bigger. Here's uh, Stanley Kubrick, Space Odyssey 2001. We've got some sports over here with Curly from the Globetrotters. And he's spinning the world, the spinning globe into the, what is that called? Basket. Basketball. And I have a computer screen here. And that just shows um, Photoshop, the Photoshop program, and how. NASA has been able to utilize Photoshop and CGI to basically lie to us, saying that we landed on the moon, which we didn't because you can't land on a light. Genesis 1 says the sun, moon, and stars are all lights. They're not rocks. They're not something you can land on. And they are close. They're inside where the firm, underneath the firmament. We can't get outside of the firmament to go infinity and beyond. That's a lie. We can't do that. And at the time, I had bought this RV that um, I had, and I, I was selling it. And not the second one that I have, but the first, this is the first one that I had. So the assignment that the teacher said was, think of five things to put in your painting that you are thinking about right now. At the time I was selling my RV, it didn't look like the mystery machine. You know, this is from Scooby-Doo and I've got Scooby-Doo right here. Used to watch that Scooby-Doo when I was a little kid. I used to watch Sesame Street when I was a little kid. And here's R2-D2 from Star Wars. And, um, and then here's Trump you know, President Donald Trump at the time. This was in the year 2015, I believe, maybe 2016. And boy, I tell you, all those liberal teachers, they really just were anti-Trump. And I was neither here nor there because I don't vote at all. But I thought this will, this will spark some interest if I put him in there. He's in the driver's seat. He was the president at the time, and he's drinking a Diet Woke there. <laughs> and then this quote down here made me so mad that this is the painting I had to make. It was from Elon Musk. It said, you know it's real because it looks so fake. I thought, that's so stupid. No, you cannot put a car up in space. Get real. That's the stupidest thing. Hello? You know, we've all seen videos of that Tesla car on some type of a, I don't know, crane thing. And, and they, they make it look as if it's floating in space. It's CGI. It's computer graphic imagery. It's ridiculous. It's so stupid. So I did this painting with that quote down there. You know it's real because it looks so fake. And I thought, okay, well, if I do this, I'll fake. Is that real? In a way, yeah, because if that's the inside of your brain right there, how did all those things get inside your ideology? All the things that you believe, how did it get in your head? This all is fake stuff. All of it, all of it's so fake. 
But yet, if you take it in to your thoughts and your ideology, it is going to be real, right? So look at how funny this over here is. Let me see if I can command plus. No. Oh, it's going. It's going smaller. I really wanted it to be bigger. How do you do it? Isn't it command plus? Command plus, command plus. How do you do it? Let me do command minus. Oh. Oh. That's weird. Command plus. All I wanted to get as big as I could. This is about as big as I could get it, I guess. That right there, in this RV that I painted like the mystery machine. Mystery Babylon. Scooby-Doo. <laughs> My, my RV really wasn't painted like this, but you got to have some imagination there. So a couple of things I wanted to go over right here. This is the Pope. This is the bedroom. The back room is the bedroom in this RV. And here we get the Pope. He's got a cross and Jesus hanging on the cross, all bloody. You know, he's got that little symbol. And right here, he's got a birth certificate, like a scroll. Birth certificate. Luke. I am your patre, Luke, I am your father. And this was a professor named Luke who was wrote, wrote a skateboard. And I kind of made him look, he reminded me of Shaggy from uh, Scooby-Doo. So I thought, oh, I'll make him Shaggy with Scooby-Doo right here. That's part of the cartoon, but he's part of the educational system too. <clears throat> and this was a play on words with Luke, I am your patre, meaning Luke, I am your father from Star Wars. <laughs> And then over here, we have USA blindfolded. This is the people of the USA, and they have golden shackles. They're behind prison bars, and it says sold. Because these are the U.S. citizenry, not real people, but chattel paper. That's the backing of the gold. That's the backing of the money, per se. Because the money that we're using now, the Federal Reserve notes are basically just IOUs. They have values on them, like $20 or $10, $5, $1, $100. They have that. It's just the, that's because we as a society have agreed that, oh, okay, that's worth this much. But it's not, it's really cheap to make. I don't know how much it costs, three cents for each little piece of paper there. But um, I wanted to kind of expand people's thinking <clears throat> because here we have the corporation CEO of the U.S. Inc. He's got his red, white, and blue on, and he's in the driver's seat. It is kind of going downwards, so... I don't know if that means anything, but the light here kind of looks a little bit like a, a glove, a white glove pointing here. It says, we shall overcome. <laughs> I had seen something. It was funny and it was referring to his hair. We shall overcome on the flag. And as you see, this is a bloody flag with, yeah, it's waving all right, but it's got blood and this, uh, Illuminati 33rd degree Freemason with the Mickey Mouse ears astronaut. He's got bubbles coming up. So the fingers or the light is pointing right to these bubbles because <laughs> underwater. I don't know if you guys have seen videos of NASA working underwater, but that's how they get a little bit of their floatiness. They're not in space. And then this is all bloody going here because they killed a lot of people in this space agency over here we get the the rock with a c on it if you look on some of the pictures that nasa purported to have of them landing on the moon there were some props with rocks there was one that had a c on it and um let's see this is this is the movie the shining by um, Kubrick, 
Stanley Kubrick. And you can see the, the camera is a little Mickey Mouse type of thing. And in here, there's like the door number 23, where that little boy is right in front of the door and he's paralyzed. And the rug, the carpet in that movie, The Shining, is just like the landing pad where they have, I think it's Cape Canaveral. That's the shape of the landing pad. And you look at his um, specially made sweater. It has Apollo 11 USA with stars all over it. They made that sweater just for this movie. This was Stanley Kubrick's way of saying, I am like this boy. I cannot say anything about this. I can't tell you anything. So this is Jack Nicholson here, The Shining. This is the movie that they were in here. That 2001 Space Odyssey was where they had the prop for the moon and all that around Nixon's time. So look at he's doing a little peace sign for Nixon. He's on the red phone with Nixon. And uh, let's see what else is there. Oh, we got Oscar the Grouch. And he's in a satellite or the, what's it called? The Hubber, Huber, I can't think of what it's called. Hubble, the Hubble telescope. And he's in the trash can of the Hubble telescope because that, that also, yeah. But anyways, so I painted this using one strand of my hair. This, all these neurotransmitters here. I used only one of my hairs. It just happened to fall out. And I just remembered when I was in the salon, whenever I'm tinting someone's hair with color, if you get like one of these hairs, man, if that little hair gets on your face, you got like lizard hickeys, man, all over the face. So you got to be careful with that. But I thought I'm going to grab that hair. I'm going to dip it in paint, and just throw it on this. This is six feet, this painting by four. So all these little pieces here are this one hair with just paint on it. And this is the moon and it has a green line because when I did do some of my uh, research on NASA, I went on their site, I pulled some of their pictures off of NASA's website and I blew them up to examine them closely. I would see a green line on the moon. I was like, what? Why are they using CGI? Why are they using Photoshop? And that's when I put this Photoshop over here as the backboard. I asked the professor of, of photography, why is NASA using Photoshop for their pictures? Because then they can't even call them pictures. They're now called images. When you crop anything, you know, in journalism, that is a no-no. If you crop something or alter it or remove something, cut it, paste it, that is no longer a photo. That is now an image. So a lot of the things that you see are CGI. They're cartoons. It's not real. It's fake. And so Elon Musk, when you say, you know it's real because it looks so fake, no. What kind of twisted witchcraft is that? And that's why I got on the tires and had Baffle Met's head right here. <laughs> but I just thought I would share that. Let me see if there's anything else that I have. Oh, here, you can go closer and see that. Look, I am your patre. He's got his little footprint there. There's the professor. And he's pointing to the CGI. He's pointing to the Photoshop program. Luke, I am your patre, Father. While pointing at the globe was Photoshopped in all NASA pictures, all birth certificates have the mother's maiden name. Thereby the Pope has claimed to be father of all. The CEO of the U.S. Corporation in the driver's seat UCC commerce rather than constitutional right to travel, drinking a diet woke, while the USA is shown as captive US corporate slaves. See how they're tied up with the gold chain there? 
sold. Yep, they're selling, selling men's souls. So the setup of the moon landing hoax, it's a hoax. It's a ruse, it's a scam, it's a hoax. And you fell for it. It's a red herring, a red herring, and it's not really true. <laughs> so this is Stanley Kubrick set, 2001 Space Odyssey, talking to Nixon on a landline. That's pretty amazing how that landline didn't have any delay. <laughs> he didn't get cut off. Wow, that's some good service there. And here's the uh, footprints on the moon from Stanley's little waffle stompers. Oscar the Grouch in his trash can Hubble telescope fiction. Let me see if I have any more. Yep. Another ritualistic globular setup of the spinning blue ball globe by the entertaining celebrity Globetrotter. And look at down here, it says Elon Musk after the little quote. Yeah, it's not real. Oh, sorry, that's another one. Yeah, we did have to take, um, we did have to do, uh, what's it called? Live models and such. But anyways, <laughs> this is my painting that I have on the um, the channel here. Put your comments down. Put your comments down in the comment section. <laughs> and I do have more um, artwork. I guess I could put my um, QR code. That's what I'll do. I'll put my QR code on the video <laughs> so you can take a look at it. And it's all for sale.